Really. Well done. Yeah. And the Manchester City fans react as you would expect. Here he is, Super Jackie Grealish. How was that, man? Did you enjoy that? Yeah, I loved it, man. Uh, you know, we were saying before the game that, um, you know, these are the nights that, yeah. I think you can't, you can have a few nerves, um, but these are the nights that you play football for, you know, these are the nights that you dream of playing and, you know, everyone in the world watching the, mm. the, the semi-final of the Champions League, you know, at a stadium like this, it's, uh, it's like a dream come true, isn't it, really? Did, did you, um, did you, we talked about nerves and coming into a game like this, just the magnitude of this game, massive game. Did, was there a hangover at all from last season, the result and the, the coming to a stadium like this? No, I don't think so. I think, I think you know, we have a new team this year, different players, uh, and it's a year ago, you know. I mm. think one thing that I can say, we've learned so much, you know, since last year, and uh, I think now, you know, we have the perfect balance of, like, experience, of, of um, you know, a few youngsters, like, obviously, Phil, uh, Erling, youngsters like that who are just world-class. So. Youngsters? <laughs> well, <laughs> 22, man, man, isn't it? 22, it's yeah. crazy, you know I mean? And then we have, like, the experience, yeah, and then... Yeah. I think we just have quality, you know. I said in an interview the other week that I swear I've never felt so confident, you know, going onto the pitch and and just having these um, and having the players around me. Mm. Jack, you were playing in today's game. I was just wondering the mental side of things today, playing against a wily old campaigner, you know, and not to get drawn into that, you know, yellow cards, maybe even red cards. Um, how hard is it in this type of atmosphere, atmosphere to keep you cool? Yeah, it's obviously difficult. Um, you know, obviously they played. They, pre uh, they, they, I think they let us have the first pass a few times, and then you know they they, they um, had a bit of a high press, especially at the start of the game. So you know that's what the manager always says. You know, keep the ball, take one, two, three, four touches, um, and then obviously you know playing against uh, playing against Carvajal. You know, I, I can't count on a city amount of people that said to me before the game, make sure you don't. You know, you know what he's going to be like. So uh, <laughs> listen, it was a good battle. I really enjoyed it out there, and. Um, yeah, I was tired, man, at the end. I've never had cramp before, but I had it in both my calves at the end. Especially so. them calves as well, <laughs> I Jesus. Know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did the message change at half-time, Jack? Because we felt you were playing so well as a team, but obviously going in 1-0 down, and then you come out second half. What was the game plan second half? Uh, do you know what? I think they defended really well. Yeah. Um, you know, we've obviously, I think we've all seen games recently, you know, where they've conceded like a few goals, you know, and and they probably haven't had the best of yeah. results. Um, but I think tonight they defended really well. Uh, I think most of our chances, you know, and I even said it to myself, I swear, I says, I feel like we're only going to score here from Distance. like a shot on the edge of the box. And we had a few in the first half. Mm -hmm. Gundo, I think, had one. Rodri had a few. Um, and then, you know, when it fell to Kev, you know, I just... What I didn't a strike, know. by the way. Yeah, no, it was it was unbelievable, Clean. man. But listen, we see it every single day in training <laughs> and um, you, you wouldn't choose anyone else, you know, for it to for it to fall to. Jack, what, what do you have to do now going into the next game? Are you going to, do you think you've got to change much tactically or would it be a similar approach to what you've got to do? And do you feel much more confident taking them back to the Etihad? Yeah, I think, I can't remember. I think Brentford before the World Cup, I think, was the last time... I could be wrong, but we even drew a game. I think we've won every game since then. Obviously, we lost that one. Um, but I think, you know, even within ourselves, you know, at the Etihad, you know, at the moment, like, we just feel unstoppable there. So uh, we come here tonight, you know, to, to try and win. And I swear we didn't come here, you know, to say, oh, yeah, let's try and get a draw or whatever. We come here to win. Um, but I think it just shows our character, you know, to to go a goal down. It's always difficult, you know, to play at a place like this and, and to go a goal down. And, and I think... Um, in the end, it probably was, you know, a fair, I don't know about you guys, but yeah, I think well, it was yeah. a fair result in the yeah, end. Um, like they had their chances, you know, we had a few as well. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I really enjoyed it, man, tonight. I loved it. <laughs> well done. It was Fresh a great game to watch. Cheers. And I hope that, you know, there were challenges last season. I hope you're now making sure you're savouring nights like this and actually really are enjoying them because the struggle makes this sort of stuff all the sweeter, doesn't it? Yeah, no, it does. And, you know, you have texts from like, I don't know, I had a text just even from my mum before the game and she was just like, you know, these are the nights that you've dreamed of since you was a kid. And, it, and it's true, man, like, you know, playing in this, in, in the semi-final of, of a Champions League, you know, everyone in the world was probably watching. Um, Stuff sometimes you like, yeah, you pinch yourself, not to get like nervous or whatever, because I swear I weren't nervous one bit, but just to pinch yourself, just yeah. to be like, oh man, this is, this is the life, isn't it? So. <laughs> it was a magic.